basically what he was saying that we should take the land that is owned by white people and give it to black people. And if we do this, we correct historic injustices. <laughs> Please go check out rebelstoreza.com. Their winter range is now available. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Moments. Real Moments are clips from videos or interviews that I think you might find interesting. I know some of you may not have the time to watch the full hour-long video or interview, so I thought these Real Moments can also double up as a bit of a teaser, if you will. And who knows, maybe if you enjoy this clip, you might want to watch the full video. Links to the full video or interview are always in the description below. Also, if you want to donate to the show, there's a link in the description for you to do just that. You can now contribute to the show for as little as 40 rand a month via debit order. Also, there are now some exclusive perks if you're a member. T's and C's apply. This is only available through Quicket. Or you can visit my website for various options on how to contribute to the show. Donations are not a must, but they're greatly appreciated and go a long way to supporting the channel. And of course, subscribing is always free. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, here is your real moment. Ernest, don't you believe in reform? Don't you believe in making yeah. history right? I mean, don't you think the people that have been uh, taken away from land deserve to have their land back? We as, as, as Africans deserve to have the land. What do you, what do you say to that? Yes, it's, 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 it's sad how detached this whole thing is from reality. And that's why I'm saying it's, it's, it's a war against reality because all the available evidence is there that this thing is failing, this land reform project is failing. And, and, and we've said this many times, if we have a, a sort of a watered down socialist or a, a mild socialist approach, which has led to a mild failure, that simply means that an aggressive socialist ap approach would lead to an aggressive failure. Um, and I think there are a few underlying, again, um, assumptions on this whole issue that are simply wrong. Um, the one is firstly in, in, in responding to this from our side, we always say it's important to differentiate between uh, redistribution and restitution. And restitution is something that in principle we should support uh, because restitution is to say there was some form of a mistake. There was something happened. We acknowledge that if something in as far as something went wrong, we need to correct that. Um, and so that is, in other words, practically speaking, to say that there where someone was actually chased off his land um, or a community was dispossessed, then that community that must be, they must either get the land back or obviously with compensation because what's, what's forgotten or left out now is that families were actually compensated uh, in the past. Mm. Um, um, or if they would opt for money, then that's also fine. That's a form of correcting the, the injustice. But there's this assumption that if you are white, then by definition, the land that you own is illegitimate. So I remember I attended a conference where a um, representative of the Department of Land Reform spoke two or three years ago now. It was before COVID, of course. Um, and he, he spoke about, you know, um, uh, correcting the historic injustices through redistribution, not restitution. In other words, basically what he was saying that we should take the land that is owned by white people and give it to black people. And if we do this, we correct historic injustices. And then I asked him a question and I said, well, what, what happens when, when you do that, you take land that belongs to a white person, you give it to a black person. So now the injustice has been, has been uh, reversed in theory. Um, but also what should, what we should add is the measure on whether this is a success is demographic representativity, which is again detached from the policy. Um, so, so the question is, and if the demographic representativity is the goal, and you say that we need to take white owned and give it, turn it into black owned to to correct the injustices, what happens if that that black beneficiary decides to sell the land in the open market, and the person who buys the land is not black, is a white person? because then you're not gonna achieve the goal of demographic representativity, but you cannot say that this is an injustice. And then the representative said, no, well, in that case, that's easy. The, the correction of the historic injustice has been reversed. So mm. now it's an injustice again, simply mm. because of the fact that the person who owns the land is white. So this is just racist. That's what it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's policy of racist theft, and they're trying yeah. to portray it as correcting historic injustices. We can correct historic injustices without, without having this racist approach. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, was your real moment. But this is your second reminder to please subscribe to my channel. Please like and comment below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this content, please share it with friends and family. Also check out the Joe Emilio Show Telegram channel. It's a channel, not a group, so you won't be bombarded by weird memes and information. It's really just a notification channel for you to be notified of all my upcoming uploads and live streams. Link is in the description. You can also watch more of my content here or here, somewhere in this general area. Just, just, just check it out. You might like it. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.